Hey guys and welcome to this YouTube video. I have been a little bit sick recently so I haven't been able to film anything. So I will be doing a review of a couple of items that I picked. So let's see how we get on. So as you can see, this is the first dress that I chose. There were so many different options online to choose from. I had a hard time actually deciding on what to pick. There was just something about this dress that really stood out to me. I would say this is very much my sort of style. I wouldn't necessarily go for something that's like quite a high neck, but I just thought the detailing of the collar was beautiful, along with the embroidery up here. I also really love the pleating as well. It does feel very expensive and it, it feels very well made as well. I do like the embroidery as well, going all the way down at the sleeves. They look absolutely beautiful. Again, I do have a little bit of that issue with the back of the dress. Dress. It's not as structured as I would like it. This is actually a size 6 and I would say that around the waist there is a little bit of excess material. That might be because at the moment I am sort of on the smaller side of a size 6. So for someone who is more true to a size 6, I reckon this would probably fit. Overall it's a really nice well made dress uh, and I'm really pleased with this. So I'd rate this dress an 8 out of 10. So this is the second dress that I have. This is a silk skater dress, which obviously feels really, really nice. I was really drawn to the pattern. I think it's a, a really beautiful floral print. I have been really loving purple at the moment, those purple and those blue tones. They're sort of like gold buttons all along here, which adds a really nice touch. I think the bottom of the dress is quite nice in the sense that it's stitched really nicely so that there's a bit of shape, so that it's not completely flat on you and it flares out just ever so slightly. The only thing that I think lets this dress down is this black detailing here. For me personally it's not as flattering. I feel that it just draws the attention too much to this area over here and the more that I look at it on camera the more I actually dislike it. So without this sort of section here yeah I just think that it would have looked nicer as sort of a, a skater dress from here where it accentuates your hips make it look more structured and then just sort of into a, a skater dress. The main focus would have just been on the waist um, without having the attention drawn to this sort of section here. I have to say it looks amazing on Lydia so it's just me. I think it's just on my body. I don't think it, it, it suits me as much. I think it's a really nice summer spring transition dress. I think you can also wear it in the winter with some knee high boots or you can wear it with some stiletto heels which I've paired it with. So for this one I am going to rate it a 6 out of 10. Now this is the next outfit that I have and so I'll talk you through the skirt. This is a zip up leather skirt. What's really nice is the gold detailing. I can see that that's sort of a common theme between most of the collection. As you can see, there is the gold detailing on the sleeves here, which really ties the look in together with the skirt as well. The print is absolutely gorgeous. The purple and the green are really beautiful together. I think I would wear this as more of an evening outfit. I think this is quite an edgy look. The skirt is really, really quite sexy. The fact that the shoulders, I would say, are maybe accentuating my shoulders a little bit more. I think that's maybe something that I might need to get over just because it is a really beautiful top it's not too restrictive I would say that for a size 6 maybe if your cup size is bigger than I would say maybe a C or a D I don't know how much give this top would have I'm probably like a B C cup so you might need to size up in this one but yeah other than that I would actually rate this outfit a 9 out of 10 so here I have a white dress it might seem very similar to the first dress that I showed you but it is quite different it is puff sleeved it goes all the way up to the neck, quite a high neck. It's quite structured all the way down as well. It does have the embroidered detail, but I would say it's less so on this dress. It's got more so of that really prominent detailing with the buttons going all the way up. As it is quite a high neck, I probably wouldn't actually button it all the way up just because I feel like it's not as flattering on me. I like the fact that it has a belt as well. It cinches you in at the waist. I'm not too sure actually really how you tie it, whether it's um, at the front or at the back, but I might play with it a little bit to see what works. In terms of the fabric, the fabric does feel quite nice but it is quite sheer so you can see my underwear even though I am wearing white underneath so that is something to keep in mind. In terms of the back of the dress I would say again I am having that issue with excess material. It's just not as flattering on me. So you can see that there's excess fabric here. It's not so nice and now that it's cinched in maybe without the belt it wouldn't look as bad but for me as beautiful as this dress is and you know it makes me feel really classy 
glossy, it makes you feel really beautiful. It's just not worth the price to me knowing that you can see my underwear underneath. It doesn't really look as flattering on the back and as beautiful as it does on the front, which is a real shame. So yeah, I think I'll have to rate this one a 7 out of 10. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little review. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon. Bye. This is a skater skip. This is a skater skip. This is a set. <laughs> This is a skater skirt skirt. This is a skater. This is a silk skater skirt.